Hi, Savvy Sales community. I've got a question for you. Are you still struggling trying to get your prospects to respond to your emails? I have a tip for you, and this tip will help improve your emails so that people will want to respond to you. Keep watching. Christine Harrington, the Savvy Sales Lady, your personal YouTube sales coach, helping you to become sales savvy to increase your prosperity so you can help your clients increase their prosperity too. So what am I talking about? Well, see if this sounds familiar. You sit down at your laptop and you're ready to start prospecting emails. You start the email by introducing yourself and your company. Then you go on and you list five to six bullet points of your benefit and features that your product can help them with. The email may be six or seven paragraphs long. You want to make sure that you include enough information. Why? Because at this point you have no idea what problems and issues the prospect has because you've never had a conversation with them. And because you have no idea what their problems are, you want to list all your product benefit and features. Surely one will hit a chord with the prospect when they read your email, right? However, let me tell you what really happens when that prospect gets your email. First, you product puked all through that email by listing all your benefits and features may cause that prospect to respond to your email, but that's not what happens because the prospect never read your email. Instead, it was deleted. Here's what happened when the prospect received your email. The first thing he glanced at was who it was from. And if it didn't have your name, but instead your company email address, that is the first thing that may cause that email to be deleted. The second thing the prospect looked at was the subject line. The prospect may have thought, ugh, another prospecting email. Then the prospect glanced at the length of your email and then decided it's just way too long to read. Or if you had a good subject line, he might read the first sentence of your email where you introduce yourself. Ugh. And even worse, at the conclusion of the email, did you write if you have any questions that I might be able to answer, please call me or respond to my email. I'd be happy to answer any of your questions. Yeah, he'll get right on that. That last sentence is about as predictable as the first sentence where you're introducing yourself. It screams sales prospecting cold email. So your email was deleted. As a result, the prospect never saw anything about you, never read anything about your company, and certainly never got down to the product benefit and features. Even more tragic, how many emails did you send just like that one? Do you just send out mass emails hoping a couple will stick to the wall and actually read it? Tell the truth. How many times have that happened? Like never? So be honest here. How much time did you actually spend 
composing a compelling email that grabs that prospect into wanting to read and learn more. That's what I thought. Not much time. Your prospect has limited attention, so you absolutely have to grab the prospect's attention with the correct email from name, not your company name. You have to grab the prospect's attention with your subject line and the first sentence of your email, and it can't be about you. So here's one thing you can do to change your lackluster results. Learn to write and learn to market. Every email opportunity is not an opportunity to sell. It's an opportunity to market. You see, salespeople have all of this backwards. They think because they're salespeople, they're to sell. You're supposed to be marketing yourself and your product First, your only intent in sending an email campaign is for marketing reasons, not for selling. Your intent is to get a click so that the prospect wants to learn more. And I don't mean click to delete. So learn to write emails, not just writing emails, but learn to write, period. Marketing is much different than selling. And as a salesperson, you also need to know how to market yourself. Your first cold prospecting email is a marketing email first. You want to compel them to click, read your email, and set an appointment with you. Then, when you're at the appointment, you sell. See what I mean? Your email must be short, tight, and concise. It must be about the prospect, not about you, not about your product benefits, and certainly not about your company. They could care less. So how can you learn to do this? Simple. Look at the emails, the posts, and the headlines that compel you to click to read more. Learn from that. You're a buyer too. Analyze what caused you to click an email or that caused you to click a post to read more. You can learn from other people. Why did you want to take the time to watch this video? One reason that compelled you to watch this video is because I made it about a problem you're struggling with. How do I know you're struggling with this problem? Because I get emails about it asking my advice and I run across this all the time in coaching sales teams. And personally, I've gotten those selling emails that were really bad, painfully bad. Study marketing, study writing. I've said it over and over again, words matter. Here are a few books to get you started. Robert Bly's The Copywriter's Handbook, a step-by-step -step guide to writing copy that sells. Victor Schwab, how to write advertising. You're advertising yourself, right? You've got to learn how to do it. I'll put in the description below a link to those books that you can get. I have no affiliation with them, but they're great books to help you write killer emails. Now, if you're willing to try these tips, will you give me a thumbs up? And I also want to invite you to click below and get your essential phone call checklist. That's free. You can download it. And I also want to invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification bell so you'll be alerted when my next video comes out. But remember this. Sales is a journey. It's not a quick trip around the block. See you on the next video.